My name is Alan Walker and uh, I'm Professor of Social Policy and Social Gerontology at the University of Sheffield. That's the social science study of ageing. Ageing is one of the great challenges to our society. People are living longer, it means they're claiming pensions longer, they're using healthcare and long-term care for longer periods. An ageing population means that the workforce is ageing, so employers in all organisations have to think more about sustaining working life rather than expecting there'll be a flow of younger people. So it's a really serious set of pressing questions that the NDA programme is addressing. The NDA was set up as the UK's first major research program on ageing from a multidisciplinary perspective with the goal of understanding how the dynamics of ageing are changing, but secondly, how the research that emerges from the program can be applied in practice to improve the experience of people as they age and to help UK society to adjust to the fact that it's an ageing society. It covers everything from basic biology through to arts and humanities. One of the things I did was to establish what, what I call grandly strategic partnerships to find organisations that are going to have a significant role in translating the research from not just one project but several projects. The NDA programme is a wonderful multidisciplinary programme looking at all aspects of ageing and what it's done is provided incredible insights evidence and new research which helps us understand some of the big opportunities and challenges that an ageing population presents. We at Age UK have a great partnership and collaboration with the new dynamics of ageing and with Alan and we are very fortunate in having a major conference together towards the end of the year where we will help disseminate those key findings to policy makers, practitioners, individual older people to ensure that the knowledge that's been created really has a huge impact, not just for academics, but for practitioners and policy makers too. Right from the start, impact has been at the heart of the NDA programme. It's built in from the very beginning. And it's a simple personal commitment there. I believe that the publicly funded research has to have some payback for society and what we've done throughout the life of the programme is to work with all of the projects to build capacity, to introduce them to systems that enable impact to be maximised, to introduce them to people who are expert, who've done it and who know how to do it so that they can learn from experience. I asked each of them to prepare an impact statement so that right from the beginning of their work they were thinking about when I finish this and I publish the results what's going to be the impact on uh, it could be policy, it could be practice, it could be the development of new products. A good example of that is the project headed by Andrew Newman at Newcastle which is focusing on visual arts and, it, and its role in the well-being of older people. What we actually did was take a group of 30 older people, some who had prior engagement with the arts and some who didn't, to contemporary art galleries in the northeast of England over a three-year period. The, the benefit for older people for engagement with art is primarily about identity. It's about being able to define who you are within the context of broader society. One older lady, for example, who had given up knitting before she came into a care home. Through the exposure to the various art, art exhibitions that we took her to, she actually took up knitting again. And this might in itself seem a fairly inconsequential thing, but what she was really doing was taking herself back to her younger days when she made clothes for her family. It's not necessarily about a beautiful piece of art, it's about how you see yourself reflected in it. Engaging with local authorities, the engagement with arts practitioners within major arts organisations has enabled us to change or begin to change the structure of this sort of work within the arts sector. And without Alan this really wouldn't have been possible. And it's Alan's approach and Alan's mentoring and Alan's support, it's through that that we've been able to do what we've been able to do. At the end of it, it has to have an impact on society that will lead 
to an improvement in the experience of the aging process. If we can genuinely transform the way that society views the aging process and the way that society thinks about older people, then that will be the most rewarding thing that I could think of.